The quality of life is not what it used to be for many Kenyan families who have fallen on hard economic times and with few able to put food on the table. Many living with HIV and AIDS are opting to skip their every regimens until they can access food. Proper nutrition is the bedrock of a strong immune system and therefore paramount for anyone living with HIV and AIDS. While scientists continue striving to find a cure or vaccine, people have learned to adapt and live with the virus, but stigma remains a challenge. Esther Makoha, 72 years old from Mumias West constituency, Esther still remembers the life-altering moment when her husband shared the news of his infection. She spends a lot of time sitting alone. No relatives come to visit, just pregnant mothers seeking midwifery services. A few meters from Esther's home, we meet Ali Mukoya, who narrates his story with a condition. Ali lives with his wife but says there's still first discrimination from the community. However, their children give them hope. Ali Mukoya, 70 years old, was infected while he was stationed in Kisumu, where he served as a security guard at Kibos Sugar Factory. He says he has used herbal medicine as well as modern ARVs, asking if the option of injectable ARVs can be made available since the tablets are tiresome and frequently cause nausea. Another victim, Margaret Akola, aged 56 years old, says she joined a group of local women after her husband died in 1990, which encouraged her to improve a kitchen garden to be able to get food and some income. Margaret Mukoya advises widows to venture into different agricultural activities and also join welfare groups despite their challenges. Violet Mbaka, who works closely with patients in the community, offers them practical advice on how to fulfill their nutritional needs. Ambaka also appeals to the government to revive plans to help people living with AIDS virus, including the elderly. Mila Kisinya, K24 TV.